Hey guys, Tux here. I have something awesome to review today. I have the new Zealots Gaming Mouse. This is the T90 Mouse. This is the newest offering from the Zealots family, and I am super excited to open this up and check it out. First, let's take a look at the retail packaging. This is a wonderful package. This is not like an OEM cardboard box. This is a nice looking box. This is something you can easily see on the shelf of a gaming store. Um, to check it out, the front here displays a wonderful picture of the new mouse talks about a little bit on the side here a nice blue it does mention things like it works for Vista 7 XP 2000 Apple you know of one weird comment here is I'm really surprised it even says Vista because of the X the the weirdness of people like about Vista personally I didn't mind Vista but Vista yeah it does mention XP some people are still gaming on XP I guess they wanted to cover that that it's on there um, I'd be surprised that they didn't think about or list Windows 10 on here. It just said 10.2, but it's funny that they don't mention Windows 10 because this is one of the newer offerings from Zealots. On the back here, it talks a little bit about the mouse. It talks about the buttons. You got left key, right key, mid key, forward, back, a light, mode switch, DPI, double click. On the bottom here, it talks about a little bit about how it is. You got a screw socket, product information, optical hole, fixed position, and of course weight, okay? And features and functions, built-in memory storage ships, memorizing, wow, memorizing when powered down, that's interesting. Permanent memory, built-in eight weights, adjustable according to your habit, that's interesting. Uh, ergonomic design and internally and externally to create the ultimate gaming concept. And I really have to say that that's one thing about the Zealots mice, they really feel awesome in your hand. They, they honestly do. The back here talks about some of the specs of it. It talks about the size, the weight, counterweights, keys, eight keys. I hope you can read all this. If you're interested, you can pause it. The most important thing on the back here, though, really is the DPI. This has a range of DPI, which is the highest for Zealots, which is 1,000 to 9,200 DPI. 9,200. That's pretty awesome for a $15 mouse, I have to say. So anyway, let's go ahead and bust this open. Okay, I got my scissors here. Let's open this right up and see what is inside the box. We'll crack the... Safety seal here. Notice the, the Zealot sticker to show it's an official Zealot's product, fresh from the factory. I love the way when you open it, it has blue. It's a quality package. It's not just like a generic box. Ooh, look at that. What a pretty mouse we have here, guys. Now, one thing I always talk about with the mice is the cord. And I love the fact that Zealot's has a nice braided cord. It's really the sign of a quality mouse having a really nice cord. And the bottom part here has a very nice solid feel to the USB plug-in. In fact, this one, for the first time ever, Zealots have a very nice touch of actually branding the little Velcro uh, for the cord, which is really nice. Um, so really fantastic cord. This is a sign of a very quality product. Um, I mean, as far as the price range of the mouse goes, the quality for $15 is quite astounding, okay? Inside the box here, I do want to take a look here at the little book. I've had people say, show the book, show the book. Okay, so here's the book, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open this up here for you so you can get a good look at it. First page here talks about Zealot's T90 instruction. Second page here has uh, bottom structure. You can read through all that. You can pause it if you like and zoom in. Talks about the features. You can pause and zoom to that if you like. Okay, we're going to flip to the back side here, and it's the same thing basically in a different language, okay? So hopefully you can see that. Uh, the most important thing here really is talks about adjusting uh, built-in memory storage clips, everything pretty much from the back of it. Um, number six here is to talk about the light mode switch, okay? Uh, short press to switch seven, color cycles, uh, six single colors, um, like a breathing design and then number seven here talks about adjustable DPI and then number eight talks about the fire keys so here I'm not gonna read through the whole thing but you can see it there and you can check it out if you're into reading all that literature so there we go I'll have a photo of this at the end of the video as well okay so to take a look at the mouse itself we'll pull it out here ooh look at that 
I think this is the first time that Zealots have had um, this type of this much packing on it. And I have to say that this, it almost looks like they're kind of imitating Red Dragon a little bit. We have some very bright keys here. It looks like they're painted keys. We'll peel off the, the plastic here. Looks very cool. Very shiny. I'm sure this is all going to light up for it. We have a Zealot Spider here at the bottom. Very glossy middle part here that's backlit, you can tell. Um, here we have backlighting on the dial here. There's some backlighting, as you can see right here. Very nice painted button, painted fire button. It says fire on the button, which is interesting. Here we have three, three buttons on the side, which is very cool. Um, looks like there's a little bit of lighting on the side here and a little bit of lighting on the side here. On the top part here, you can see it looks like kind of like almost like a car exhaust or something. Very cool design. Has some extra plastic here to keep that from ripping or tearing, which is good. The bottom of it does have like little protective covers on these. I'm going to leave these on for right now, but you can see this, this blue does peel off. It's the same sticker essentially that we had on the top of it. One of these right here, 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 and here. Okay. Um, on the bottom right here, you can see the laser and of course T90 Gaming Mouse. And right here, you can see there is, this is the first time on the Zealot's mouse that I've seen. It's got the a weight, it looks like. I didn't, I kind of thought this was not adjustable, but it looks like it is adjustable. Let's go ahead and try and pop this open here. Ah, check that out. So now this mouse is keeping up with some other mice and actually adding an extra feature not on previous Zealot's mice is weights. So here with this you can actually take and you can adjust the weight of the mouse by taking out these little weights here. You can see they do pull out and you can actually make this mouse lighter or heavier based upon your preference as a gamer which is very cool. Okay so we're going to pop that back in place. Just goes right in like that and then you turn it to like lock it in place. So very cool. Um, the feel of this mouse, um, the texture, this is hard plastic right here. Um, there's a kind of a rubbery material right here and here and also down here. The side over here is plastic and the buttons are all hard plastic but they're like kind of like it looks like a fancy sports car has been painted. They're very shiny. They have their own look to them and they're very bright in color. Very nice looking mouse. Now to compare this mouse to at one of the previous Zealots, this is the 2015 Zealots mouse. And this is actually my daily use mouse. It's actually from my gaming rig, so um, I apologize if it's a little dusty or dirty or anything. Um, this gets a lot of use. I've been using this mouse for a very long time. You can see it looks like this does have a similar, um, it is a little rubberized here and here, just like this one. Um, so it's very similar to this one to say for the game. Again, this is the 2015, which um, goes up to 50 500 dpi uh, compared to this new one that goes much higher the cord itself is very braided so it's a very similar braid between the the 2015 and the newer one and um, very cool actually uh, this one here doesn't really have a number on it necessarily it just talks about the dpi but does it say like t80 or something that's something new for this mouse i guess else is trying to do um, one thing i will say that might be a negative is that um, this one here this mouse does have this really nice little groove here you can see there's actually two grooves so when you when you hold it your fingers can kind of go right into the groove and that's one of the things that makes the zealous mice so comfortable is the fact that the way you can hold it and they actually have kind of almost like a finger slot for you so it's very comfortable as you actually play with the mouse here you can actually see it really your hand just goes right into it. almost like they took clay and you could actually just you know they molded it to like an average hand so very cool now this one here um, it does have like a little bit of a groove there you can see but really compared to this mouse it's really not as pronounced you can see it's much more of a subtle groove from that it's more like one groove and a flat surface as opposed to actually having two Okay, with the lights dimmed down here, you can see what this mouse looks like. Very pretty. Um, it looks like lots of colors showing here. I will say that Windows 10 picked up this mouse with no problems. You needed no drivers. The box also did come with no drivers. So it's just kind of a plug and play situation. You plug it in, Windows detected it, it worked fine. I believe the same thing would happen for Linux where it would find it and it would just play it, no problems. Same for Mac. Um, again, no disk in the box. Okay, so the mouse itself is very, very pretty looking in the dark. It will power cycle through the colors like others zealots mice 
and um, on the bottom here you can see we got the laser shining through looking very good on the sides here you have a little bit of color going through which is very cool looking on the top part here the dial here has lights in it which is nice across the banner here you got the zealot sputter showing and on the right hand side here you can see it's got like the little lines little almost like exhaust lines or something very very cool looking mouse on the front of it here um, there is no front light except for what you can see on the top here at the dial so all in all a very very cool mouse looks very good you might even say it's crispy in the dark looking good now as far as power cycling goes people have asked about that in the past and without reading the instructions completely it's most likely you hold this and you can see how it flashes when it flashes you should be able to stop it and actually pick one color and there you have it I switched it now it's gonna flash only blue so if you're into it staying one color instead of going multicolored um, is very possible you just hold that and then you can switch it to what you want alright guys so there you have it that is the Zealots T90 gaming mouse I'd highly recommend this mouse I would say pros I'm really loving the colored buttons they look very nice like a fancy painted sports car the cons about the only thing I can see negative towards this mouse right now would be that I kind of miss having the the two little grooves on the right hand side like it doesn't feel quite as personalized as the previous mouse that has the actual grooves here on the side of it they both feel really good in your hand. I do like the three buttons on the side here. That's a plus. And I do like the fact they're painted. They make them stand out more. I like the fact the way the wheel is. Um, looks very nice. Um, all in all, I'd say it's a, definitely a winner. If I was going for one or the other, I'd have to go with the new mouse, though, because I prefer the higher DPI for about the same amount of money. Of course, you can always adjust it to a lower DPI if that works better with your game that you're playing or your application. Okay? Thanks very much for watching this video review, guys. I would say that all you guys should head to Amazon or your favorite local seller of Zealot products and check out this new T90 gaming mouse. All right? Talk to you soon, guys. Bye-bye.